uh, calculate how much how much will be in a savings account after seven years if monthly payments of a thousand rand are paid into the account starting in one month's time. Interest on the account is calculated at 12% per annum compounded monthly. Okay, so first thing we need to list the information that we are provided with. But before I, I list it, I just need to a mark. All right, it's very important for you to write down your formula just in case it is allocated a mark. So if I substitute, okay, I'll get F equal to X is a thousand rand, one plus I, or I is zero comma one two over twelve, then all that is raised to power eighty four, then we subtract one to that answer, all over zero comma one two over twelve. Okay? And someone give me an answer then. Remember, I just need to, to, to remind you that you need to be a master of your calculator when you are doing financial. Okay? When you want to find N. Remember, we start from T naught. Okay? We start from T naught. Okay? Up to in this case. Now I, I just I just want you to be aware that sometimes it's always wise to draw your your, your timeline. Okay? It's always wise to have your timeline. So that's Tn. In this case, this is gonna be T84. And this one here is T0. The first payment is made in T1 because the person says the First deposit will have made starting in one month's time. Now, if you, if you if you remember, well, last week I told you that when you, when, when you are dealing with investments, in most cases you don't start making a deposit on the day that you 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 open that specific savings account. You negotiate to start making the first payment after a month. So here at T naught, okay, that's when the person goes to the financial institution like old mutual, Sandra, or FNB or Sandra Bank or APSA, whichever the case. The person goes to the bank here, okay, here at T naught, right? They sign all the paperwork and then they they negotiate to start paying in one month's time. So the first payment is made at T1. Now because here we have got seven years and the total number of payments is going to be made every month. The total is going to be T84. Now, you find that if we add this 84 plus that T0, our N will end up becoming 85. If we were to start paying immediately, the total number of payments will be 85. But because the person is not making a payment here, we subtract 1 which is representing T0, and our N is going to be equal to 84. So don't talk about 83. 83 is not, if it is never possible for us to have 83, unless you start at T2. That's when you can talk about 83 payments. But in this case, the person is starting in one month's time, so the first payment or the first deposit is made at T1. If it was going to be 83, it means the first, the starting time is going to be in two months. Here, yeah, we're going to end up having two months' time. So that you start from T2 up to T80, uh, up to T84. Remember, if you count the number of payments from T2 up to T84, it's not 82, but it's 83. It is, it is 84 minus 2 plus 1, which gives you 83. I, I, I hope that I have answered you, Isra. So in this question, it is very important, like the previous one, to highlight some key things. The person plans to have 3 million in 20 years' time. Okay? That's 20 years' time. Calculate how much. Okay, T 
she must pay into the account each month. Okay, starting in one month's time. Okay, if the interest is calculated at 95% annum compounded monthly. Now, because we are dealing with this scenario where the first payment is made in one month's time, it means T naught is not included. Okay, T naught is not included. Therefore, let's list whatever, whatever we have. So F is given. That's three million. Okay, our N is going to be equal to twenty. That's the total number of, of what? Of years, right? Times the compounding period per year is going to be twelve, and this will give us two hundred and forty. Now it's two forty because T naught is not included. If T naught was included, then N was going to be two forty one. Okay, if if the first deposit was going to be made in two months' time, then our N would be equal to 239. Okay? Then your I is 9,5% over 12, which is 0 0,095 over 12. Okay? Our X, our X, is unknown. Okay, so the objective of the question is for us to calculate how much money the person is going to pay into the account every month, which in this case is X. Okay, X represents the amount paid. Okay, that, that's an equal amount which is paid every month. So in this case, that's X. So we write our formula F is equal to X times 1 plus I raised to power n all minus 1 all over i right then now depending on what you prefer i can make x the subject in this form okay i can make x the subject if you don't want that you can sub you can substitute and then later you make x the subject okay so for today i'm gonna make an assumption that all of you are aware of how to make X the subject. If anyone doesn't know, then you must ask me some other time. Okay, so first thing, we will multiply, we will multiply this I by F. That's the first thing. So X is going to be equal to, is going to be equal to F I divided by Okay, F I divided by by this whole expression inside that square bracket. So this is very simple. It's a very simple formula. So we are going to multiply it by divide by one plus I raised to the power of n all minus one. Okay, so that's all for us to get our what our x. So this becomes F is three million times I. Our i is 0 0,095 over 12. This is all over open square bracket 1 plus 0 0,095 over 12 raised to the power of 240. Okay? All minus 1. Okay? Then we need, I need someone to calculate that x. Okay, 3.2 says calculate how much interest till end over the 20 year period. Calculate how much interest till end over the 20 year period. Okay, before I carry on, I just want someone to tell us how you do 3.2 because I don't want to rush to just give you solutions. 230 and 94 cents does not include interest. Okay, I want you to understand that very clearly. The 4,213 and 94 cents does not include interest. But it's going to accumulate interest every month for the next 
20 years. So each amount, each amount which is added, including the interest of the previous amount, they are gonna all be added and they'll come up with one amount after 20 years, which is 3 million. So the 3 million includes the amount that that team deposited without interest plus the interest which accumulated because you are saving money. So it will be 4213 and 94 cents. So that will be minus 4213 and 94 cents times 240. Now I want you to be aware that this amount, as station is said, is just the amount that the person would have deposited without interest. Okay? This is the amount that team would have deposited without any interest. Alright? He doesn't have any interest in this amount. Alright? So, if you do your subtraction, if you do your subtraction there, okay, let, let me just calculate it myself. Okay, so I need someone who would want to ask a question to, to ask.